Members of the jury, I understand you have a verdict. Members of the jury, I will now read the verdicts as they will appear in the permanent records of the 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota, County of Hennepin, District Court, 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota Plaintiff versus Derek Michael Chauvin, Defendant. Verdict, Count 1, Court File Number 27, CR 20-12646. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to Count 1, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.44 p.m. Signed, Juror Four Person, Juror Number 19. Same caption, verdict count two. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count two, third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.45 p.m. Signed by Jury Four Person, Juror Number 19. Same caption, verdict count three. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.45 p.m. Jury four person, 019. So there you have it. The verdict is in. Derek Chauvin found guilty on second degree murder, third degree murder, and manslaughter charges. All three. Chauvin looked extremely calm and collected though as the jury's verdict was being read out. Which makes me think he just knew the result ahead of time, or maybe he's thinking something else I'll explain in a minute. No trial has ever been politicised as much as this one, particularly by the left of course. Left-wing politician Maxine Waters literally said that if the result is not guilty, then rioters should get more confrontational. And she effectively incited violence on the jury if they were not to give a guilty verdict. The president himself even weighed in, effectively saying, although he didn't say it in actual words, that the result should be guilty, and saying that the evidence is overwhelming. When was the last time a president weighed in on a trial? Surely. That's not appropriate. The question is though, is did the jury give a fair verdict or were they simply fearful that when they got home, a Black Lives Matter protester would be busting through their door? Because the judge said himself that if the jury had seen the news and felt fearful, then the result would be void and the trial would have to be redone. When you've got high profile politicians weighing in on what the result should be, You've got the insane media coverage and obviously the intense emotions behind the whole thing. If I was a member of that jury and decides to vote not guilty, I think I would be very fearful. So was the verdict fair or was it simply motivated by fear? That's the question. Like I said earlier, surprisingly, Derek Chauvin looked extremely calm. So he either knew the verdict or maybe he is hoping that the verdict will be void because of the political pressure that was put on the jury. The left have undoubtedly turned Chauvin into a political example. And they've turned Floyd into a god. Let me make one thing clear though. Floyd was definitely no god. He was a career criminal who had just committed a crime. He did not deserve to die. And I'll say that again. He did not deserve to die, but he was no angel. And it's not like he was just some innocent person that was randomly targeted by the police and killed. The sentencing seemed harsh to me, but I'm no legal expert, so my opinion means nothing. But many experts were expecting a manslaughter charge, but not murder, because it was difficult for the prosecution to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Chauvin purposefully murdered him. Considering that he was a career criminal, he had just committed a crime, he had a number of drugs in his system, and he had health problems, which were all contributing to his death. 
it did take me by surprise. Many of the left are now saying though that this is just the start of a much bigger movement to completely abolish the police, which to me seems the most ridiculous, stupid, and just not plausible thing. I would love a liberal to explain to me in the comments how abolishing the police does anything good. Would you really want to abolish the police when a criminal busts into your house and starts stealing your stuff, starts raping your wife and killing your children? Do you really want to have to deal with that yourself? But as usual with most things that the left preach, you can never really find logic within it. On the face of it, we should be thankful that Chauvin got a fair trial and they got an attorney to defend him. The left didn't even want that. They said because of the video, he should go straight to jail. But we all deserve that presumption of innocence. And the fact that he got a trial and an attorney should definitely be celebrated. But did the jury make a fair verdict or were they understandably motivated by fear? What do you think? Drop a comment and let me know. We continue to keep you updated on the story here at Lifeline Media. And for less than the price of a coffee, you can join our movement and community and get a ton of VIP goodies on Patreon. The link to become a patron is in the description to this video. And of course, remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any real news.